Hello everybody and welcome to Millbrook in Bedfordshire. The location isn't very glamorous, but the car is. And the good news is T50S is up and running. Gordon, you must be really proud to see it out in, in, yes, on well, the track. Yes, indeed, yeah, we've been watching it uh, uh, come together in the workshop and it's it's lovely to actually see it running for the first time. So uh, not only looks good, but hopefully it's going to go quick as well. Yeah, I think there's no doubt of that. Right now we're doing low speed stuff, which we'll talk about more in a minute, but it feels right already. The immediacy of the controls, whether it's the steering, it, it responds so well to steering. The braking effort required, I mean, I know there's some sizable discs on there, but the re effort required, even with cold carbon-carbon discs, is, is minimal. The thing just stops, it stops on a dime. That's what 900 kilos gives you. <laughs> we know from the road car, you know, you can feel the lack of weight, and uh, this is uh, over 100 kilos lighter. So uh, it's gonna be a mega machine, I think. And with 100 horsepower plus more. Yes. <laughs> so she's going to do and a, that. And a bit more downforce. Just a wee bit. Yeah. Just a wee bit. An odd thing I noticed, um, or odd for a racing car, is it's got that family ride that 50's got. Even on the bumps of the bowl here, which are notorious, it rides ever so well, which That's I'm quite surprised about. because it's actually set up pretty stiffly, obviously, to, to handle the downforce. Yeah, it's interesting. Shall we... Shall we have a chat with Tim Limerick, who's the, the chief engineer on the project? Yeah, let's get him in. Tim, come and have a word. How you doing? Yeah, okay. You yeah. busy boy? Yeah, flat out. Tell us a bit about uh, what we've been doing with, I mean, I clearly know because I've done a bunch of the driving, but what we've been doing with, uh, with 50S so far. So at the moment, we're just trying to calibrate the drive line, really, and understand how sensitive the whole system is and how that reacts to the driving inputs that you've been putting into the car. It's, it's easy to sort of glaze over how much you are trying to caress the, the driveline in a car like this, especially when you're trying to build something that's more drivable. Because we've got to make this car that you know, people of all abilities can drive yeah, it fast ab and have ab fun. Absolutely, and of course a, a, a lot of the development work is all around the new gearbox because this is a, a brand new box. It's got nothing to do with the gearbox that's in 50, the road car. And it's an, it's an instantaneous gear shift, so it's, a, it's like a pre-selector box. As I guess a lot of the work you're going to be doing over the next few weeks is around that. Just trying to understand it and trying to work with it and tune it and build it a system which is more consistent with what we feel like the car should be. I mean, even already early days stuff, you're feeling this, the, the shift is, is it's so positive yeah, it's and very, it's very really quick. quick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's been uh, that, that's been a very a very nice surprise with it. And again, just getting you know working with the clutch, getting the clutch engagement, all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, it's a little bit cold. It's cold right now, but it's a little bit colder at, uh, you know, five o'clock at night when the sun's gone down and it's, uh, I've been sort of living some Lamar fantasies on the bowl. <laughs> it would pitch black. So what, what are the next stages of development? So the next stage really is to just characterise the whole car. So we'll be looking at dynamic characterisation, brake characterisation, and just tuning that along with the powertrain and the driveline to, to really build out the whole development program that goes forwards. So we've got a development schedule to, to meet. We do. You're a hard taskmaster, so we uh, get on with it. Let's do it. Let's go. We're heading out for another run in T50S. As you can see, one of the extras in the car is not a heater. It's really cold in here, got my rally hat on. But what we're doing now, low speed runs, hence no helmet, um, below 5,000 revs, just making sure that instantaneous gear shift system works, up the gears, down the gears, trying to put it through as many different uh, cycles as we can, as many different um, ways of shifting as we can, different revs. Um, and really just doing those early stages uh, with the car, just uh, yeah, just getting the car up and running. It's, uh, I'm looking forward to driving the car really quickly, 
but this is the stuff that makes sure um, that when we do get on track and run at full speed, that it all works right. It's a wrap. Is that all good? Yeah. Hi. <laughs>